Hello again. Today we are at the seaside of Xiangshan. Actually, I can feel the breeze now. But hey, the purpose of my trip is to observe salmon. 350,000 salmon eggs came to Ningbo all the way from Norway. Can you believe it? To me, it can be definitely caught in adventure. My name is Uwe Nordlan. I am from a small town of Egersen in Norway. I have been living in Ingbo since uh, 1999, more than 23 years with my family. And I have enjoyed every moment of it. Okay, Uwe, I wonder when I go to the market, how can I tell the difference between trout and Atlantic salmon? An Atlantic salmon has a more pointing and longer head, while that of the trout is shorter and more compact. This is also the same for the actual body shape. The major difference, however, is within the taste itself. Trout tend to be off flavor with a muddy taste as it has been farmed in a pond. The Atlantic salmon farmed at Nordic Aqua land-based farm in Ningbo using RAS technology provides the highest quality Atlantic salmon with absolutely no off flavor taste. We pay a lot of attention to traceability. Mm -hmm. So all our salmon eggs are imported from Iceland yeah. and they are marked and traced. When they arrive, we trace the whole feeding process. Mm. We take the temperature, we know exactly what they have eaten, how much they have eaten, all mm. the way until the salmon is fully grown mm -hmm. and slaughtered. And then there will be a certificate with the possibility to trace it all the way back. So no, I it's, see. it's traceable all the way. So far, what difficulties have you encountered in the fish farming and how have you solved them? Was there any help from Ningbo? Yeah. The first challenges was in the planning actually, because mm. to do a project like this, you have to um, have technology and yes. that technology yes. is not existing in China. Number two was to raise capital. Mm. It's a very costly project. The total investment in Gautang is uh, 70 million eu euro. But when we finally came here, there was uh, also challenges related to uh, environmental issues, um, how the wastewater treatment. But we had good, good help by the local government uh, to, to uh, tell us uh, what kind of requirements they had, what mm -hmm. they didn't have. So mm -hmm. we developed them together. And I think we made some standards that will be good for China going on. I think the next question is of great concern to everyone. So when will these salmon be ready to mature and enter the Limbo market for sale? It is not only a concern <laughs> for you, it is also a concern for us. To do yes, the project yes. Because we, yeah. we, um, we are looking very much forward to that. Yeah. It, takes, it had taken us about mm. one year to, mm -hmm. to uh, build and construct mm. until we could put the first egg in. Yeah. The normal cycle is uh, a little bit less than 24 months, so say mm. 22 months from egg till, till yeah. 5 kilo. Almost two years. Almost two years. Yes, so yes. Uh, in January 2024, so yeah. we hope uh, we can uh, introduce the first 5 kilo locally yeah. farmed salmon <laughs> to the market. Yeah. So okay. we look forward to that. So any plans for this farm next? Would you like to have more cooperation with Ningbo? Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> we, uh, the, the Chinese market for salmon mm. is expected to be 250,000 ton. We will start with only 4,000 ton gradually. Oh, increase. right. So right. our plan is to reach 20,000 ton. Mm -hmm. And after that, we, we can continue to build upon that. I, I think together with the, with the government, we mm. will use this project to, to create what we call a center of excellence for advanced uh, aquaculture. Mm. So not only will we develop the salmon market, yes, I think yes. we will use our project as a as More a kinds basis, of fish. Yeah, yes, okay. as, as a model mm. to do sustainable mm. on land aqua farming for other species than, than salmon. And, yeah. and that is what we continue to talk with. So therefore, again, we, mm. we need local talents who can help us to to, to develop this because without people, without mm -hmm. quality people, yeah. uh, it is very difficult to expand.